What if I told you that Marin Robu was one of the strongest, most athletic people to walk this earth? Someone who can move as fast as a sprinter, explode like a basketball player, and produce as much force as a powerlifter. It might not look conventional, it might not be textbook, but it works extremely well. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. I really want to hit 100,000. Oftentimes when we pick up a new sport, hobby, anything really, we get pigeonholed into thinking that there is only one way, a textbook way of doing anything. In powerlifting, you're supposed to always keep your back straight, but then Ed Cohn started rounding his thoracic spine. In sprinting, you're supposed to have a slight forward lean, but then Michael Johnson broke the 200 and 400 meter world records almost leaning backwards. Andy Roddick served weirdly, but he had the speed world record. And in the sport of weightlifting, they say your arms are supposed to be like cables, but Shizu Yong sets world records with bent arms, as does Li Dai-in, Lashit Alakadzi, Lesma Predes, and a large number of the best men in the sport. But very few athletes look as divergent to traditional technique as Marin Robu, and yet it works so, so well. When I see Robu lift, I see the product of someone who never, ever gave up. Someone who succeeded in spite of circumstance. Someone who insisted on improvement, regardless of limitations, to the sought-after textbook way of moving. 81 kilo or 178 pound Marin Robu can snatch 170 kilos or 374 pounds. Clean and jerk over 200 kilos, 440 pounds, jerk 210 kilos, 462 pounds, and back squat 263 kilos, 578 pounds. Visually, he looks weaker than an elite crossfitter, but he would snatch their cleans, jerk their squats, and squat their nothings. In this video, Marin will snatch 160 kilos three times, clean and jerk 190 kilos three times, and front squat 230 kilos. When I watch him lift and commentate on him in competition, I often find myself picturing that scene in Jurassic Park, where Jeff Goldblum says, Life, uh, finds a way. Because it's kind of like Marin Robu was born to lift weights and will continually evolve throughout his life to do so, and it doesn't matter what barriers or blockades you put in his way, Robu will find a way. If you give him shoulder issues, he'll widen his grip. If you put a physical obstruction in his ankle, then he'll keep his right shin vertical and twist over to let his left side compensate. And if that then causes him an injury on his left side, then he'll just put on a knee sleeve on that one side to stave off the pain as best as possible. And when, at the European Championships in 2022, he popped his elbow, he'll just squat and pull like a madman in training until he's back at full health, and then continue on in his quest of becoming the best weightlifter he can be. Life finds a way, and Marin Robu also finds a way. But in general, it does make sense to have a textbook technique, because there are certain things you really ought to do to maximize your chances of success in the sport of weightlifting. You really want to pull the bar pretty straight, ideally slightly backwards. But then again, world record holders Ilya Ilyin and Loredana Toma, among many others, let the bar go forwards. But then again, they do pull it back in once the bar passes their knees. But Rustami doesn't, and neither do his world record holding teammates. But you really should. You've got to be quick, not necessarily during the pull, but in going under the bar. How fast you move is largely genetic, unlike strength, which was a much more trainable quality. But you do need to move fast, the faster the better. And ideally, you need good mobility. Gorman Asian can't squat below parallel and the barbell crashes on him, and Marin Robu powers almost everything because it causes him less pain in training, but most people do need good mobility, and Marin Robu always finds a way. Artists, musicians, and incredible athletes have to learn how it's done properly first. 
A musician needs to learn their scales and chords, learn how to play pieces of music that open them up to new styles before they start improvising or writing their own. They can't go chucking in a diminished seventh before knowing C major. Artists need to learn basic composition, understand the colour wheel, and they need to be able to paint what is there before painting what isn't. And it's the same in weightlifting. You need to be able to keep your back straight, hit the correct positions, keep your arms long, pull the bar backwards. But over time, things change as you and your body get to know each other better. You get more and more in tune with your body and how micro adjustments of just millimeters to your technique can make worthwhile technical improvements. Marin Robu's technique isn't so much contradictory as it is tangential. It's not the same, but it is. He moves fast, his pulls are straight, and he's incredibly strong. But it's his differences that make him so interesting to watch. His movement is eye-opening and makes this sport all the more exciting. Marin Robu is a product of knowing technique and understanding it to the full, textbook technique, and then, regardless of what life throws at you, making alterations, finding your own path, creating your own style of weightlifting. Robu has found a way. Please like and subscribe.